Hello, beautiful women. So I love, I love, love, love to be able to sit around my kitchen table and have coffee talk, you know? And so that's what I wanted to do today. I just wanted to um, show you a couple groceries that I got at Trader Joe's for some intuitive eating. So here's the thing. If you were anything like me over the break, yes, I, I tried my best to eat really clean, but I totally indulged and I started going down this path of just sugar and cheese and dairy and sugar and, and I'm like pulling myself up out of it now. So what's done is done, but there's some habits and some junk that's been created because sugar is in your gut and it actually triggers your brain and says, I want more sugar. So we keep eating it. And you know what I noticed? My kids. So I'm noticing like my kids, I never buy fruit by the foot. I went to Costco and got fruit by the foot. Who does that? So now all of a sudden, my kids are wanting sugar. They're craving sugar. And so I'm just like, we are doing an overhaul. We are just eat, enough is enough, and we are gonna eat healthy. We're gonna eat intuitively. And so I'm just gonna actually read that to you really quickly. Intuitive eating is an approach developed to help people heal from the side effects of chronic dieting. And you know, it can be really overwhelming in the new year, or there's constantly a new diet coming out. So I really wanted to passionately share this with you because I believe that it's powerful. And if you can intuitively eat, I believe that this will help you stay on track for all of your, your nutrition and health and wellness goals. So this, an intuitive eater is defined as a person who makes food choices without experiencing guilt, which really is a detachment from food, or an ethical dilemma, honors hunger, respects fullness, and enjoys the pleasure of eating. So here's what I wanna share with you. Everything that we do is intentional. And so I will never eat food right now, starting now, right? Like who cares what's happened? I will never eat food without being present. So if I'm gonna eat something, I'm not gonna be stressed, I'm not gonna be like running around, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I just wanna eat because I'm, I'm, I'm a stress eater or I'm hungry so I'm just throwing in my kids mac and cheese, no. No, 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 we are intuitively eating, we are being honoring of our body, we're being present with our body, and so if you have good, healthy, whole food in your house, that is what you will eat. If you are tempted by junk, you might have enough strength and discipline, I surely didn't over the holidays, I'm like superstar wellness fitness coach, and all of a sudden I'm like, I can't stop eating cookies, you know what I'm saying, because it was in my house. And so, here's what I have in my house now. I got rid of all the junk, get rid of all the junk in your house, just get rid of it, you don't need it, it's not serving your body. And what I got, I wanna share with you what I got, I got some bell peppers, because bell peppers are a great snack, you can saute them in grapeseed oil, you can chop them up and have them with hummus, they're a wonderful snack. Um, high in fiber, I have eggs, I do really love toast, and so I have this Ezekiel. It's a sprouted whole grain bread. I'll have that toast and I'll have it with this great Kerrygold um, grass-fed butter. It's wonderful. You still get that toast craving if you're a toast person. Um, I have Brussels sprouts. I got raw uh, whole cashews. This is a great fat. Here's the thing. I will attach this. This is a food portion chart for meals and eating. Now. Cashews are great, those whole cashews are amazing, right? But if I'm eating too much of them, then that's a problem. That's not serving my purpose either. So you also have to be aware of portion control. And, and your body will start to adjust and adapt and your body really talks to you. Your body will tell you what it's craving. And so I have spinach over here, I have green beans. Sorry, I should talk over here. I have um, a ton of great berries, fruit, blueberries, um, blackberries. I absolutely love, all right, oh. Oh, I have cute cucumbers, lemons. Um, I have organic brown rice, quinoa, and fusilli pasta. I love this because I do love a really nice pasta. And this is high in protein, and so you can even just toss this with a ton of um, vegetables and some chicken. I have chicken over here, I have ground turkey. So this is the stuff that I have in the house. I hope that this week you print out this food chart that I'm attaching down below, print this food chart out, honor your body and be present. The biggest thing I can tell you is to eat whole foods and to be present with what it is that you're eating. 
And if you're doing the, the, the slim and trim like me, I'm actually having my BioCharge and Slim right now to help with fat burning, energy, appetite control, all of that. So I hope you have an amazing week. Prepare and have a plan. Follow the guideline and have an incredible week. I can't wait to see you guys next week.